the RBA hikes interest rates for the tenth time in a row. Banking stocks surge on higher margins. And Perth Mint found doping its gold with silver and copper. Welcome to Trading Up, a collab by The West Australian and Graffa. I'm Sarah Hewan. This episode is brought to you by Stake, Australia's most recommended broker. The RBA inflicted even more pain on homeowners, particularly people with a big mortgage. Anyone who has $1 million owing on their home loan is now paying just over two grand more a month on their loan. That's 2K on top of what they were already paying 10 months ago when the RBA began hiking rates. And Chief Masochist, RBA Governor Philip Lowe has said there are still more rate hikes ahead. While he said it was a painful squeeze, he has no choice with inflation still stubbornly high. To the stock market and banking stocks rallied on the news. The big four banks all jumped. The rate rises helped to increase their margins. But it's a double-edged sword for the banks. If rates go too high, they start seeing people default on their loans. And to stakes most wanted stocks on the ASX today. These are stocks which are being heavily traded. Pentanet shares jumped after announcing a tie-up with Optus for online gaming. More than 4 million shares in funeral provider Invocare have been traded as it faces competing takeover bids. Semiconductor company Webit Nano shares continued their upward march after it revealed its microchips are now available. And the word of the day is doping. Nope, it's not the Tour de France, it's the Perth Mint accused of doping their gold bars with lower quality metals like silver and copper. There's one big problem. It sold these trumped up gold bars to China. It got caught and it tried to cover it up. And now, according to Four Corners, it may need to recall $9 billion worth of gold bars. Lance Armstrong can tell the Perth Mint that doping almost never pays off. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au. Or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewan. See you next time.